and we're here on day seven. It's in daylight. And we are ready. I'm going to finish up this stupid room here. And then we're going to start... Basically, we're just going to throw the entire day into base building. Awesome. Uh, yeah, after the dog scare and seeing them go through the barbed wire fence, I think it's time I put a little bit more time into fixing this entire base up. Getting to, Oh, more guns. More bullets. I can always use more guns. Guns are kind of hard to find in this game. However, my intentions are to go out, crack as many rocks as I can find, and bust up as much wood as I can find, and try to somehow build a massive, ooh, wow, I didn't know this crap was even here, and somehow build up the base to... build it up to a point of defense to where I don't have to worry about these stinking zombies too much. And as you can see, defenses are still holding, but this is this is temporary, if nothing else. It is about as temp as temp can get. So first off, we're going to check our surroundings here. Make sure, because this is usually where the zombies will hold up at, though grab up around here for some reason. Get around. We still have that one zombie that screamed out here that one night. And I don't know where he went. So... What is this? I didn't see this thing out here. <gasps> Ooh! Cloth leg armor. Hunting knife. Hunting rifle. Ah, that's amazing. We need some food. We need food and we need it badly. First off, I'm going to do some grinding. I need to get some iron ore. Oh, I heard something. Oh, crap. You want bullets? Okay. Looks like my pounding on things has attracted a nice little zombie. Let's see if I can... Oh, decapitation! All right. Ah, you worthless piece of crap. I'm over here. Pick a fight with me. I <laughs> don't even have anything to hold on to. Ah, worthless sob. I need as much steel as I can get. I also need as much wood as I can get too. Actually, thinking about it, hold up. If I recall, there was a tree down here, a big one, back when I first started. There was an old house. I might could get over there, take out that tree. That tree would be an easy 600 or 300 points of wood. That'd be a great idea. Go get that, and I can pick up anything I find along the way. I think it's safe to tell everyone here that I do have an exit strategy just in case, you know, the worst should happen. If I get fully overrun, I'll, I pride myself on always having a plan. And my plan for if we get overrun, or if I get overrun, is to basically, before we take off and do this, to put as much food and supplies on me as possible and some bare essentials such as animal hide and a couple other things. That way, if we do end up, this is too much, we got to abandon the hotel for a minute, or for a while, I can always make a run for it. And it might be a good idea to pack up on some, to stock up on some yucca juice for a little bit. But with that in mind, it should be pretty easy for us to defend this, given I have time to build the defenses that I want to build. Alright. 
That should give me all the wood we should need for a while. I need to do this now, otherwise it will never get done. Making wood spikes. Wait, I do need all that steel also. Where's the steel? Why I keep doing that, I will never know. Oh. Here's hoping nothing has to be repaired between now and then. Alright. Need to hit that dang airdrop. I'm running low on energy right now. Hmm. That's another thing I should probably be doing is picking up yucca plants because that can give me energy if I have to run. I can just start chugging those down 30 at 30 points of stamina at a time and just run forever if I have to. So we're going to do that. We're going to grab some yuccas while we're at it. There's our handy dandy little box. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? Rocket launcher schematic, SMG parts. We're taking all of it. Whether we want to or not, we are taking all of it. Alright, uh, we're back at base here. That's much faster. Since we've done that, eventually we're going to go back in here and, and mess with some of this a little bit more. I kind of wish I could get out onto that stupid ledge and fight from there. That would be ideal. But we got to get inside. We've got to throw some stuff on the forge. we got to start melting crap down. And I've got a brand new weapon I have to make. Okay, so we can build a rocket launcher, but I think... What did I just do? <laughs> Okay, I'll put the schematic in there. I need to I need to eat that at some point in time. Get all this crap out of here. Okay, I need a shotgun short barrel. Where are my okay, I got shotgun slug, shotgun long barrel. I did it again. How how am I doing that? Uh I'm not pushing the other button. That makes sense. Okay, um, this is the best shotgun parts I've got. Do I have a receiver? No, got a shotgun receiver. I also need a shotgun short barrel that is much better than that. All right, shotgun short barrel. I think I have everything. I think I can build one. If that's possible, those 34 shotgun shells are going to come in handy really quickly. Now, we're also going to toss that in there for good measure. Okay, I've got all this stuff. I wonder if I can make an SMG. Uh, SMG receivers. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's, let's see if we can build this one gun first. Okay, so what we're going to do, since life is obviously getting interesting at the moment, over to weapons. Oh, tell me I can't build it. Oh, wait, that's right. Okay, so to do this, <laughs> I, I forgot. You have to press triangle on this button when you want to assemble a shot, when you want to assemble a gun. In this case, a shotgun. We're going to attempt to assemble it. 
So we have apparently everything. I need shotgun short barrel, and we add shotgun parts and a shotgun receiver, and we have a working shotgun. Now, I think we're done. There we are. And we now have a sawed off, which is going to be very helpful. <laughs> I'm like that. It'll be very helpful. Things go bad, or south, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. We need to. rapidly throw down stakes, that's how you do it. You just hold it down and back up. Okay, folks, this is going to be interesting. Especially out of barbed wire, folks. We have a large defensive position. And circling our nice little handy dandy base. Hopefully that will be enough to make Ooh, ooh, I did not Ooh shit. No, no 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 no. Ah, frick, we're bleeding. Expect that to happen. I gotta get upstairs now. Come on, Badger. Come on. Come on. Can't believe this happened. Alright, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. This is why, folks, he is a hand. Good idea. Oh, shoot. Ah. <sighs> Frick. <sighs> okay. Well, that was dumb. I gotta remember not let that happen anymore. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Huh. <sighs> 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 All right. Oh, that was scary. <sighs> Good God. Throw that on. Alright, where's that other good stuff at? Where's the good stuff at? Alright, first off, I need to throw that in there, that in there. 
this in there. This is a duct tape. This is a feather. This is a forged iron to the barbed wire. Anything that I am not going to need for the next several minutes. I need 15 gla extra glasses of water. And all this just in case the unthinkable happens. I need one more thing. I ain't had this sucker on in a while. <laughs> that makes me look a whole lot cooler. Okay, guys. Let's see if we can do some sniping. dying out there. I can see him down there. We gotta get downstairs. Take that, sucker! Okay, fences are down on four sides. I have got to go engage these guys. Tearing into my base. I've got to deal with these things. Here we go. Multiple zombies down on all sides.
nada. I think... No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to call this over until... See what I mean about running zombies? Now they're just a real pain in the butt. Ah. Not today, sucker. Not today. Alright, let's head back to that Screamer, because I think she was the boss, and she probably had some good stuff on her. <sighs> as far as I'm concerned, this ain't over. <sighs> Let me take the duster off. Actually, I like bullets for the current level of guns I got. Point worrying about things I can't really control at the moment. One thing I can control is putting this cockamamie door back in place. <sighs> Back upstairs we go. Back upstairs we go. <laughs> ah, folks, that seems to have done it today. It's officially day eight. It's still too dark for us to actually go outside, but that was the... Yeah, that was the... That's what gave us so much heck. That's what I've been preparing for. Day seven. As far as day seven is concerned, we have survived it. And as soon as I figure out what I'm going to do next, I'll be posting some more videos. So yeah. As always, ladies and gentlemen, this is Badger Wild. Just got another day and another dime closer to seeing how long we can last in this thing. It's Badger, signing off.